Alrighty, what's up everybody? It is I, Peter Joseph here, for a Tuesday afternoon video, right here on the Peter Joseph YouTube, YouTube Wrestling Channel, youtube.com slash Peter Joseph. Thank you for watching, make sure you like the video, and subscribe right now. And subscribe to all my other channels, links are down below in the description box, share it. Share the video all over the internet. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to hit that bell. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next video. Because you miss anything, you need to get slapped in the fucking face. Because your SOL, yes you, your SOL, and you know what that means. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know what it means, look it up. And that's all I gotta say about that. And if you're brand new here, welcome to the party, pal! We hope you enjoy the ride. Sit back, relax. Grab a cold one and enjoy the show. You like it? Great. You know, get the fuck out of here. Simple as that. Simple as that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday afternoon, October the 15th, 2024. Right at the midpoint. Right down the middle of that, like Bill Alfonso would say. We're at the midpoint of October. Got two more weeks to go. And then we begin the pretty much... We're on the, on the last, last two months of the holiday season. It doesn't start yet until Thanksgiving, but a couple of weeks we'll be starting the great month of November. As these, this year has just been flying by. We're almost done with 2024, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to get into 2025 and uh, see how everything goes with that. But I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm actually uh, about to go to go out right now to the doctor, so I'm not gonna be that long. So I'll be. It's like, I'm, you know, it's an in and out thing. You know, in and out like my dick in your mom's ass. But it is what it is. But yeah, so I just have to go for a little follow up, and then I'm pretty much done. So I won't be won't be out too long. Probably at most, I'd say a half hour, so maybe an hour. But and then I'll be back, and I'm gonna have excuse me, I'm gonna have uh. I'm going out to lunch with the missus, and then uh, pretty much after that, I'll be back uh, to do my Monday Night Raw review for for uh, from last night, and then get ready for NXT on the CW11 tonight. Also, Game 2 of the Skankies and the Guardians at that construction site in the Bronx. Yankees won last night, five, uh, what did it win, 5-2, five to, five to so they're up one game to none. The Mets will play tomorrow night at City Field. It's going to be electric, sold out tomorrow night on FS1. It should be on Fox, but that's just another story for another time. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, baseball in New York City with the Mets. Uh, hey, the Rangers won last night too. 4-1 uh, to one over the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, the Jets, ugh, fuck the Jets at this point. They're done. They lost twenty. Uh, they lost twenty-three to twenty. Horrible game. Referee sucked ass. Rogers sucked ass right near the end. Got away with a fucking fumble. But you know he threw a, he threw a great pass, wide open receiver. Whoops! Fell and got hurt, and then the Bills intercepted it. They ran out the clock, and that was it. So the Jets go to two and four when it could have been in first place. Now the two games back in the division, but they do got some good news. Devontae Adams, who has been rumored to go to San Fran, well, we didn't get him obviously because we don't need him. He went to the Jets today. Not that it's going to help, but see what happens with that. The Jets uh, play Sunday night football against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, that should be fun. That's the next game for them. The Giants don't even know where they play on Sunday. I think they, I think they, no, don't they play the Eagles this week? I don't even know. I know the big game this weekend is the Super Bowl 58 rematch with the Kansas City Queefs, I mean Chiefs, or Chefs if you watch the commercial, against the 49ers in Santa Clara. Going to be a big, huge game. I And I know Kelsey's going to be there, that... His whore is going to be there. Fucking Taylor Swift, who was at the Yankee game last night. She should be banned from every fucking stadium, every sporting event. 
fuck her and fuck Kelsey too and fuck the Chiefs and, and Patrick Mahomes with his fake ass fuck discount double check. I want the Chiefs to get buried in a turf this Sunday. We'll see what happens with that. So, lots of stuff happening this week in New York City. Hey, even Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Vote for Trump, please. He's going to be at MSG, I think, this week. For a big rally. It's going to be huge. Can't wait for that. But, you know, Election Day, pretty much three weeks away from today. We're in the home stretch before probably one of the most... Most uh, important elections in history. Next to 2016, 2020, this year, probably 2028. But we'll see what happens with 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 that. You know, it's pretty much too close to call in certain, well, some states. Pennsylvania, you know, I think that bitch Kamala Harris is winning. Nevada, Wisconsin, Michigan. Georgia, the big swing states, really, so, we'll see what happens with that in the next three weeks, but, vote for Trump, that's all I gotta say, you want change, you vote for the right person, you don't want the same, you don't want to have somebody who ain't gonna do anything for you like Biden and Harris did, you want four more years of that, you better move out of the country, you want that shit, but I digress, alright, ladies and gentlemen, really quickly, uh, before I I get out of here to go to the, my my doctor appointment. Want to have a little discussion, if you will, with you all. Uh, now we know we know we got Crown Jewel as the next major pay per view for the main roster on November the second in that shithole in Saudi Arabia, the land of sand. So we got that, uh, and the main matches. You know, we already know Naya. Woo! Jax and Liv Morgan, who almost got cashed in by on by Tiffy Tiff, it wasn't for Dom. So that's gonna happen for the uh, Crown Jewel title, non-title match. But the winner gets the Crown Jewel title. They hold it for a year, and then who gives a shit? Because we'll barely see it. Like oh, the Crown Jewel champion, we you, you see, you, you know, they'll show it on Raw or SmackDown, and then we won't see him see it again. What worth this fucking piece of tin? What I think. So, I mean, look at it, Liv and Naya. I really could care less who wins that. I hope Naya, for my purposes, I hope Naya wins. <coughs> Excuse me. Choking on my own spit. God damn it. <coughs> we move on with that. <coughs> so I'm hoping Naya wins that. But now we look at the men. And uh, we got Walter, the world champion of Raw, taking on Cody, MDK, or like Cody, you bitch, for SmackDown. And I think it's, I mean, it's going to be, a, I'd say, an okay match, not a great match. I really want Walter to win this match. Why? Because who gives a fuck about Cody at this point? Cody's reign as world champion has been shit since he won that belt from Roman at WrestleMania 41. Ah, uh, 40. Excuse me. It's been shit. Who'd he beat? AJ. Me. Garbage. In a garbage way. In that, uh, in that title match. Freaking barely beat Solo. Twice. Barely. I mean, he just hasn't had a great reign. And he's probably, after this little feud with uh, Walter, he's, he's got a lot of problems. He's got the bloodline to worry about, Roman to worry about. He's got Randy Orton and Kevin Owens fighting amongst each other. Really, Kevin Owens should be next after the Survivor Series. If the whole thing with the War Games match doesn't get involved and doesn't involve... Kevin, and it doesn't involve Cody, I hope, and probably not. Because I still think Jay Uso is going to come to his senses by Crown Jewel. He's going to say, you know what? I forgive you, my tribal chief. Who we'll join the fold, and then Sami Zayn, who really doesn't have a problem with um Jimmy, 
per se, you know. Jay, mm, maybe, no, Jim, Jim uh, no, Jay and Sammy are, like, inseparable. Jimmy, I don't know if he, if he still has hate for what he did to Roman at the Royal Rumble last year. But, I mean, we'll see what happens with all that. Uh, but I think Sammy's going to get involved. Roman might not like either one of them to join, but eventually he's going to be like, you know what? We need the band back together. And Sammy and Jay will join up with Roman and Sammy, uh, excuse me, Roman and, J and Jimmy to form their team for War Games to face Solo's team of Solo, Tama Tonga, ha, 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 and uh, Tonga Loa, and along with Jacob Fatu. I love you, Solo! That guy. But, getting back to Cody and Walter. Like I said, Cody's reign has been shit. It's been shit. And he comes out on Raw last night and says, like, I'm gonna, I already slayed a beast. So they're dropping a lot of Brock Lesnar references. So that can only mean Brock Lesnar might be coming back probably by 2025. Maybe at the Royal Rumble. I would love that. But I think other people, like Issa would too. Because she loves the Beastie, you know, everything else. We all love Brock. But I swear to God, if Cody beats Walter, I think there's going to be a revolt in the IWC. Cody should get destroyed. Like he did when in AEW... When Brody, Brody Lee, the great man that you are, sir. When Brody Lee whipped Cody's ass in a dog collar match and took the TNT title from him. Cody had no offense in that match. None. And even the one against, the first one against Brock, where he got destroyed. And, and Brock broke his arm, and then they had the second match. Cody somehow won that one. And then Brock, like, gives him respect. But, oh, I give you respect, Cody. Brock should have whipped his ass after that shit. But, yeah, Walter needs to win this match at Crown Jewel. Because, because if he doesn't, then it makes him look like a weak as fuck champion. I mean, a great match with Sammy. Great match with Sammy. Great match with Priesty when he won the belt at SummerSlam. Not at SummerSlam, sorry. Uh, Cla was it Clash of the Castle, I think? Whatever one, I forget. Anyway, but... You know. You want to make him a dominant champion like he was with when he held the Intercontinental Ch Championship for almost two years? And people say, oh, he hasn't done much with the belt. Uh, you better have been watching him lately, huh? Dominant, I mean, great win, held, holding the belt against Sammy. That was a great match on Raw. I don't know who he's gonna, who he's gonna lose to. Probably won't be till, um, next year. Might be the Punk. I hope not, but I think that's the direction they might go in. That Punk will be the one to slay the ring general, Walter. And then we'll see Walter versus Seth. Or Seth beats Walter at the Royal Rumble, maybe. And then Punk wins the Royal Rumble, faces Seth at WrestleMania, you know, night one or night two. Wins the belt from Seth and then goes on like a 6,000 month reign that nobody will give two fucks about. But it is what it is. But long story short, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here right now. What do you guys think? Should happen at Crown Jewel. Should Walter destroy Cody? Should it be a competitive match at least? Or should, like I said, Walter annihilate him in like 5 to 10 minutes? I personally think Walter should annihilate Cody. Annihilate him. I don't even think Kevin Owens should even get involved. Or Randy. Nobody should get involved in this fucking match. At all. Let Walter destroy him. Then he goes into a program maybe with Seth going into a uh, Survivor Series. Or, or maybe going into the Royal Rumble. And then, like I said, Seth will win the belt. 
and then then drop to the Punk. Because Punk probably wins the, either the Royal Rumble or he wins the Elimination Chamber. And either either way, I think we're going to see Seth Rollins and CM Punk at WrestleMania Night 1 or Night 2. Now, as far as Cody goes, I hope he loses it to either The Rock or he loses it to Roman at WrestleMania 41 in their third straight match. But then again, who knows at this point with where Co- when Cody's going to lose the belt and to who. But I think that I think what the what WWE is going to do with Cody is have him face Kevin Owens, uh, Kevin Owens for the belt a second time, really, for, like a rematch from um, the last pay per view. And uh, Kevin's now a heel. Kevin should beat the fuck out of Cody, but somehow Cody somehow wins the match at the Survivor Series, and then at the Royal Rumble. I don't. He could face Randy Orton at the Royal Rumble if Orton doesn't win the Royal Rumble per se. There's a lot of things going on. Who should win the Rumble? Should it be Punk? Should it be Should it be uh, Randy Orton? Should it be somebody else? I don't know. I don't even know who's gonna win the Women's Royal Rumble at this point. I'd love for it to be Rhea Ripley again, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I really, I think Rhea Ripley's gonna win the belt back from Liv Morgan. I don't know why, but at at WrestleMania 41, because after she gets done with Raquel Raquel Rodriguez, she's gonna somehow she's gonna enter the Royal Rumble, win the Royal Rumble, or win the Elimination Chamber. Get the face of Liv, beat Liv's ass, probably in a steel cage, or what they should have done was hell in a cell. Liv, I mean, me, Rhea wins the belt, gets rid of Dom, and then Dom's gone by then. I think Dom should cost Liv, Liv the belt, and then Liv says, bye bye Dom. Dom goes, to, goes on to do whatever he wants. A lot of people saying Dom is going to win the Intercontinental title. Maybe. Not from Jey Uso, though. I don't think, but. I think Dom might win, might win that Intercontinental title, but probably won't be till next year. But we'll see. What happens with that? But mainly, the, the main focus of the video, ladies and gentlemen, what do you guys think should happen at Crown Jewel? Cody wins? Hopefully not. But should should Walter win the match? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments section. Let's have a little discussion, if you will. And that's all I got to say about that. All right, guys. I got to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Until next time, if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. Oh, well, actually, I don't got two. I got three words for you. Fuck you, man. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys a little bit later for my raw review over on my main channel, Kill Little Demon 669. And that's uh, pretty much it. Join the day, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.